you can say, well, James, it's not just about money. Well, I'm sorry, but it is. I'm not expecting Novell or Red Hat to, to get rich off of Linux. I don't want to get rich off of Linux. And to say it's just about money, it's too simplistic. Um, sorry, but we don't live in Star Trek times where everything just comes out. <laughs> you have your, your, you know, everything, no, nothing costs anything because everything you ever wanted is just there because, you know, the, the, the computer can make the dinner if you just tell the com computer, make me a roast beef, you know, it's not going to happen. These days and age, um, people have to, they, you know, they, they, they work for a living five days out of the week, and the other two, they go home, and they need to pay a check, they need to pay their mortgage, they need to pay their rent, et cetera, et cetera. People need, people need to eat. You know, programmers need to eat. It's that simple. And it's, no, not all the programmers are going to go out and become waiters. Some people want to have careers, have an enjoyable career, and use an alternative operating system. And it shouldn't be so restrictive that that choice is eliminated and sometimes the philosophy that comes down you know Ubuntu got some flack for putting proprietary drivers in their installers so they pulled it out and so you know if they pull out even more than what they have right now it just isn't going to work there's going to be let there's going to be more failures of installations less users less exposure for the free software foundation less people using the public good that's made for everybody uh, more monopoly more monopoly power for a very large corporation um, all these things because we're shooting ourselves in the foot over politics there, there was no uh, good technical reason why in SUSE 11.2 I couldn't install my SUSE 11.2 without a graphical interface. I'm not going to run SUSE without a graphical interface for the Free Software Foundation. The Free Software Foundation wants to do that's their business. They should start coding and that's how they get their thing done. That's what they do. What I do is my work. And so I, and yes, I want to use and I want to honor the ideals of the Free Software Foundation as much as I can, but I don't want, I can't afford it to be at the cost of my work. I can't afford to be the cost of functionality or, 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 or time wasted or, you know, not being at home but instead doing this, you know. So, the, the, you know, when it comes down to day-to-day -day reality, um, I think that some of the choices that are made by the, the distributions to take certain things out because they're not, it's not free software or it's proprietary or to remind us that it's proprietary is just ridiculous. Um, just put them in there. <laughs> it's the way it is. And, you know, if the Free Software Foundation comes up with something just as good, that's great. But this whole idea that we're somehow going to pressure ATI to open, open the source for their drivers, or not to buy ATI cards, is ridiculous. I mean, I just randomly buy, bought a computer that's got an ATI card in it. What am I going to do? Not buy this brand model computer? No. This is, a, this is the model we wanted. It was uh, one of the more powerful ones out there. We wanted one that's going to last for for a number of years. We had a business reason. We don't want to replace our computers anytime soon. We don't, and so that's one we picked. That's the best one for it. Best price for that choice. And uh, that's what we did. And so if Linux wants to fit into other people's lives, you know, I don't want to sound like I'm uh, um, snobby. If Linux wants to fit into my life, well, it better conform, but the reality is, is for the over, over a large population of people, that that is the reality, is that Linux has to conform. You know, and, and, and if the free software, again, if the Free Software Foundation wants everybody to not have to use proprietary drivers without intruding upon their lives and and, and and the Linux users need to wake up to this too you know um, <laughs> don't go out there and start browbeating people for using proprietary drivers because uh, I've seen read a lot of claims of people saying that the proprietary drivers are buggy this that and the other thing but at the end of the day no um, 
it's probably because they just don't put as much time into the the, dri the drivers as, as for window but I'll tell you it's a lot less buggy than a black screen so there you go not uh, by no means am I an expert on video cards and video drivers but all I know is the result that I'm seeing and I, I'm pretty certain that okay the next thing we need to, to not do is is to, to break things that work already because you can't build you can't build upon your success if you, you know so me as a desktop user I couldn't build on, on the success I had in learning how to use Grub 1 and apply it to Grub 2 there's no reason why uh, Grub 2 couldn't have uh, some configuration file that's uh, that says uh, automatic automatic boot entries equals yes or no or uh, legacy configuration equals yes you know or something like that this is a software program um, that that should be available and uh, if it were then okay um, more more there would be less people exiting from Linux because they don't want to, you know. I have to consider what distribution I'm going to put on a machine for someone that's relatively new to Linux or just being introduced to it. Am I going to put a distribution that has just a black screen with six kernel entries for two that don't even boot? No, I'm not going to do that. Okay, I'm talking. I'm all I'm doing is talking about factors that affect whether whether Linux can gain its momentum. And make money like I think it probably theoretically should should be able to do, even though it's given away a lot of its desks there. Uh, a lot of the installs are, are given away for free. Um, that's that. So so I, I hope I've covered what my motivations are, why I get upset, and um, and also why I joke the way I joke. It's not going to take a mafioso to 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 kill Linux on the desktop. Linux is doing a, fine, a very good job on its own. On a case by case basis, um, if all I did was download OpenSUSE, this is the first time I've ever tried Linux. And all I did was download OpenSUSE 11.3 and stuck it in the drive and installed it. Up until the and if I didn't try the proprietary drivers, I would think that this is just a great operating system. I just say, oh, this is great. It works. It works. Well, it's great. It's gone. Look, it must have gone a long. It must have come a long way. But I but I know that I had that same. Uh, the installation went that easy when I was using SUSE seven. <laughs> for the most part, except for one machine. So um, okay, I'm gonna stop.